Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm joined now by Rebecca Fang, a Notre Dame international student from China who came here not alone, but with her twin sister, though you live in different dorms, right? That's right. So you have a little bit of separation. Thanks so much for joining us. Tell us a little bit, Rebecca, you're a sophomore now. Tell us what brought you to Notre Dame all the way from China. Right. Um, I know that Notre Dame is a Catholic university, and actually when I applied, I know that, but I didn't mind that, and I actually thought that was such a new experience because I definitely know nothing about Catholicism at all. So I thought, yeah, that's cool. That's why I applied. Oh, that's really interesting. And yeah. did you inspire your sister, or did she get you to? Um, she followed my example. She did? Would she yes. say the same thing if she were sitting here right now? Probably, yes. All right, well then, you know you're telling the truth. <laughs> All right, well tell us a little bit, you are a, what, you're a business major. Finance? Yes, All right. I am accounting and English double major. Well, we were talking a little bit ago, you said your sister was a completely different major. If you are an arts and letters major, everything in the business finance world kind of blends together for the rest of us, so I apologize. <laughs> tell me a little bit about what projects you have done as an undergrad here at Notre Dame. Right. I, um, I've done some research projects and a lot of drawing projects, but I think um, one of the most, my favorite project is definitely just going to L'Arche, which is a um, organization for people with and without intellectual disabilities to live together. And um, there's a community that I went to and, and I think I'm pretty devoted into. This so was that's... part of your summer learning experience, is that yes, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. And what inspired you to get involved with that? It's actually really random. So um, it was during one spring seminar, uh, spring break, and then I thought, like, yeah, like, because this organization is located in DC, and I thought, yeah, DC is kind of cool. So that's initially the reason why I went there. But um, I spent one week in L'Arche, and then I just realized that during that week I was really, really, really happy, and I like didn't know why. Um, so I thought, yeah, it might be fun if I just go back and figure out why. Mm -hmm. And I went back during the summer, and it was like two months, and I think I figured out why. All right, yeah. and you had such an amazing project. You mentioned it's the, the idea is connecting physically limited individuals with those mm -hmm. who are more able bodied. What exactly is the goal of the program? I think for me, um, I don't know exactly what's the goal of the summer, I mean, like, summer service learning program as a whole is to, I guess, expose students to. Um, people who are more marginalized in the society. And for me personally, uh, that program really allows me to slow down because um, life at Notre Dame is so busy, like it's just deadlines after deadlines. And I guess it really allows me to slow down. And every day is just about three meals and sleep. Mm -hmm. And at, at the very beginning, I was so scared because I have nothing to do. And um, But then I figured out it really gives me time to I guess, give love and accept love from people with intellectual disabilities. It's hard to do so because I previously, I previously, I previously thought that they would be like lower than me, like lower than me. And, but then, so it's really hard to, I guess, accept love from people who you previously thought to be lower than you. But that experience really humbled me. Well, and it, it really changed your perspective, obviously. And I understand you now hope to bring this model back to China at some point. Yes. Um, it, it, is a, it is a huge dream, and um, I really, because L'Arche is an international or, organization, and I thought, but L'Arche doesn't really have even one community in China, and I'm from China, so I thought it'll be wonderful if I can bring back L'Arche to China, and to not just help people with intellectual disabilities in China, but also help people like me in China, because it's such a mutual learning environment for me. I learned so much from them. So. What a great goal. Thanks so much, Rebecca, and thanks for joining us so late on a study yeah. night, and we can now say morning on a school day. Oh, so yes. thank you very much.